Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today we're going to be painting this poinsettia, which is the one I drew on the other video. I'm going to link both videos so you know um, how to draw it. And in this one we're going to paint it. Now I painted it in different ways uh, practicing for this video. I did this one, which I think I'm going to paint uh, the other one this way as well. This is um, with purples and reds. I really like it. I did this one more like the white or yellowish poinsettias. And this is more of a traditional poinsettia with reds and greens. And then this one has more of pastel colors in pinks and lilacs. But for this one, I think I'm going to painted this way. So my poinsettia is drawn here and I'm going to start doing a few of the outer leaves in green because poinsettias usually the outer leaves are green ones and as it gets closer they can become different colors. So I have my angle brush number six. This is a brand Medin. I'm going to wet my brush remove the excess water and let's uh, mix some green. I'm using primary colors. Those are the colors that I like to work with mm, the most. I like mixing my colors. So I'm going to mix uh, a dark green for the outer part of the poinsettia using blue and yellow. These are folk art paint and its ink spot is for the blue and school bus yellow is the yellow color. So I'm going to mix uh, green that I'm happy with. Let's see if we like that one. It's always good to test your colors. I'm going to test it here. And that's a nice green. I'm going to rinse our brush and leave it on this side. So I have already wet my brush. I'm going to dip it on my mixed medium. This is very important when doing the one stroke technique. Now this is the toe of the brush and that's the heel. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the dark green on the toe of the brush and my vintage white on the heel of the brush. And I'm going to make sure there's a lot of paint in there. Maybe pick up a little bit more medium. And I'm going to decide which ones are going to be green. I think this one is going to be green. I'm pressing my brush down and just wiggle it. And we're going to do the other side. We can add a little bit more green there. And there we go. Now I'm going to remove a little bit of paint from here. There we go. And I'm going to do this one green as well. I'm going to pick up more paint, more of my green and my vintage white. And let's make sure I have it on the right side. I'm going to do this one, another green leaf. Poinsettias are very unique and mystic plants, really. They flower only around Christmas time. And they have a reputation of being poisonous, but I don't believe that's true. One of my cats was obsessed with my poinsettia last year. And within the time I had it, she ate most of it. Nothing happened to her. Had the poinsettia for about three weeks. Okay, this one is going to be green as well. I'm going to do a little flick there. Give my poinsettia more movement. And there we go. If I don't like it, I go over it again. And that's it. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of purple to do some of this, this, this one. So I might do in a purple. So I'm going to grab some of my red, which is engine red and my ink spot blue. I'm going to create a nice purple, nice purpley red. I think that's 
I like that. With the same brush, I want to dip it in my medium, pick up the purple on the toe of the brush, and some of my vintage white. We're going to do the same as we did with the green. Okay, I think there's enough. Make sure you got lots of paint on the brush. And we're going to do some, some purple. And that looks really pretty. The one stroke techniques takes a little bit of practice, but once you got it down path, it really doesn't take any time at all to create beautiful florals. Okay, I'm going to do purple, this one as well. There's no reason or rhyme, really, the colors you choose. Um, you're the one who has to decide where you want your purples. I like the green ones on the outside. Then the next row, I like purples. And then I move to my, to my red, more inside the poinsettia. I'm going to do this one purple as well. There we go. And I hope I have enough paint. Yes, I do. There we go. Now I'm going to do this once in, maybe I'm going to do that one purple too. This little one here. This brush is almost too big, but I think I can manage it. There we go. Okay, let's do some some red now. We don't have to mix anything because our red is right here. I'm going to pick up some of our medium and some of our red on the toe of the brush and some white on the heel. And we work it in the brush just like that. And we're going to do this one in red. There we go, that looks pretty. Okay. The important thing with this technique is to have enough, enough paint on your brush, of course, and some medium, so the, the color floats beautifully like that. Okay, I'm happy the way it's looking. I'm going to paint another one here. There, drag the white. If you don't like it, you can go over it. I can what I do in here. There we go. Um, this one is going to be red too. I'll do this one red. I always start with the outer leaves, working my way in into the flower. That one we're going to do. Should we do it purple? I'll do it red. I'll do another one, another red one here. I think that needs a little bit more white in the center. I'm going to touch it up a little bit there. Okay. And this one, that's a little one there. Uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it red. There we go. Uh, 
Now for the inner petals, I always like to use red and green. I like to make them really nice dark red and green. So I'm going to pick up some of my medium and I'm going to pick up the red on the toe of the brush and the green on the heel. And because these petals are a little bit smaller, we can just do like a little press and sweep, press and sweep. Or I can use a smaller brush, but since I have this one, that's what I'm using. There we go. I can go a little bit on the side here. I'm going to add some red there. And there we go. Now I can touch up where it needs to. I think it needs a little bit more in here. And there. There's your poinsettia. Now, <clears throat> if you want, we can pick up our liner brush. I have my uh, beautiful rosemary brush, liner brush that I really, really like. And we're going to make it nice and watery here. And we can touch up some of the leaves if we like. We can do this. And maybe add a little flick there. We can blend it in. Can do that in here. Can add some green inside too. If you don't like to see to see white, you can add you can add some green in the center as well. You can blend it in. Okay, now we're gonna pick up some red with our liner brush. Make it nice, put lots of water. This is how the liner brush works the best. And we can touch up some of our edges. We want to make them a brighter red, especially in the center here. can touch up this one, and that one. You can, you can make it look as pretty as you want. Another thing we can do too is pick up some of our white, some of our vintage white. I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but this is all folk art paint, which I really like. And we can we can do some like some some of the veins that the leaves have. This really adds to the point set at you. Pretty our point set is coming alive now. I really like point setas. I'm a little bit obsessed with them. I like to paint a lot of poinsettias around Christmas time. And because there are so many different varieties, you can be really, really creative with your colors. How pretty that poinsettia is looking. And some in here. This, this, by doing this, you can also really help some um, shaping the leaves as well. Can add a little bit in the center, some lines like that. Maybe needs a little bit more red in here. 
You can also add some gold. I don't have my gold paint with me right now, but you can add some gold to the tips of the leaves. Now, last but not least, we're going to do the center of, of our poinsettia just using a Q-tip. We're going to wet our little Q-tip, dab it in, and we're going to pick up some yellow. And just we're just going to dot the center. This really brings the poinsettia alive. We can add some red too, since this is a red poinsettia. Look how beautiful that looks. Now if you want, which I like doing for my poinsettias, we can add a few shadow leaves just by wetting our brush, picking up maybe uh, some green, very, very light, uh, because there's a lot of gel medium in there. We can add a few shadow leaves maybe in here. That looks pretty. You can add some branches too if you like, coming out from different places. Just anything that you like to add to your poinsettia to make it more festive and alive. And this is my friends how I paint a poinsettia. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learn something. If you like this video, you know what to do. And we'll see you on the next time. Thank you so much for watching.